Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencast, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at some collaboration tools within Revit. Here I am in Revit 2016 in the Collaborate tab, and we have an architectural project that has been linked into this project here. We're going to be covering the copy monitor command for the screencast. The, the situation is this. I am a structural engineer or MEP engineer. I have received the architectural model from the uh, engine from the uh, stakeholder and I'd like to use this model to help in creating my model easier and faster. So just as a quick review, insert tab, link Revit file, select the file you want to work with and then specify how you want the positioning to be placed. In the collaborate tab, coordinate panel, we have copy monitor, click select link and select that. Now that you've activated the command, you can go to Options, and you can see that it will copy and monitor levels, grids, columns, walls, and floors. You will want to go through the process of mapping things. For example, here, <clears throat> um, don't copy the type or specify a different type if necessary um, for all of the columns, the walls, the floors. A lot of times, depending on what you're working with, you will typically choose to copy the original type or transfer it to some other system family that's necessary. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to leave everything as a default. Now that you have your options taken care of, <clears throat> you have two commands, either copy or monitor. Copy says take an object that's in the architectural model, copy an exact instance of it in the same location, in my Revit structure model and monitor the two objects so that if one changes, a coordination alert will pop up. All right. The monitor command basically does the same thing, but the difference is that instead of creating a new object, for example, this wall, if I pick it, there is already an existing wall in play and I just need to take these two objects and keep them coordinated. So in that scenario, basically, um, I, as the structural engineer, already started my model before receiving an ARC model from the architects. And so I've got data that just needs to be coordinated against the architectural content instead of starting from scratch. In this situation, this screencast, we are starting from scratch. So I'm going to click Copy. And if I need to, I can click Multiple and do a window selection of whatever I want to copy. So for example, maybe I want to copy um, and hold the Control key down. Maybe I want to copy the grid lines. For now, I hit Finish in the Options toolbar, and if I hit Finish now to get out of the command, it will finish the command, and you'll notice that if I left-click this object, you'll see it's a grid line that's in this current Revit project, and there's a monitor icon that is monitoring against the other one. Um, what I'll do now is I'll take this file, and I'll save this as a project, put it under... C temp temp model and then the arc model that I'm working out is called warehouse A and so now I'm going to close this file and I'm going to open up that architectural model because I'm going to pretend that I'm the architect just for a second. So what I copy monitored was just the column grids. So if I go in here and I make a change to the column grid line, as in the name, the position, anything that I want, let's call this 1.1, and I save the work. I then, as the architect, email or send to the structure engineer the updated Revit model. The structure engineer will open up the mod, his structural model, and it will automatically say, instance of linked needs coordination review. I click OK. And then I would go back to the Collaborate tab and now use Coordination Review to select that architectural model link. 
and the coordination review window will pop up and says, hey, I've got a situation here where something's different. The grid line changed. This original grid ID, grid 1, has been changed to 1.1 with a new ID. So what do you want me to do? That's the Revit software asking the user. Do you want to postpone it, reject it, accept the difference, or rename mine? So I'm going to rename mine, hit apply, hit OK, and now mine says 1.1. And so you can use the same philosophy and the same approach of the tool to copy monitor everything else as well to do coordination review. And that's the copy monitor command uh, along with the coordination review command within Revit 2016. Thanks for watching my screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.